So for the safety light curtains, first of all, we're going to break this down into four different categories, just like you see it on our website. And the first one is going to be the heavy-duty Type 4s. What you're looking at here is our new uh, enclosure that we have now, the black enclosures on the uh, Easy Screen LS. And this is something that we'd want you to lead with. And some of the differentiators on here is the fact that it is plug and play. There is no dip switches that you have to maneuver or set. Everything, there is no dip switches that exist at all. So once you, uh, for example, if you're going to cascade these to a second pair, it's just as easy as hooking up that second pair or third pair or fourth pair, and it'll automatically communicate with them. But not only that, it'll also switch the scan codes on every one, so it'll avoid a lot of crosstalk issues. Prior to that, you'd have to have used some sort of a dip switch on our older models. But we do have models that are for finger protection, hand protection, and even your ankle protection so that there's a, quite a family of the LSs, which is a great thing to lead with. But internally here, as you see, we've got zone status indicators, which is a great benefit. So you can actually see which one of these zones are going to create the uh, indication that there's some sort of blockage. Each one of these green zones will turn red depending on what area is blocked. That's a huge benefit just be, for alignment sake. Now, the dash S, LS dash S, is a form factor for ordering where you can now order individually the light curtain itself and then choose what type of cord set you wish to have as well as what bracket. By having these individual line items, it's going to uh, result in some very fast delivery because we don't have to stock so many kits but also is something that's very much in line with what the competitors are doing as well. So it's a very flexible way of ordering your setup. These are just a, a couple of slides that do show the model LS that's in a configuration. These are actually four sets, as you see here, where there's two horizontal and vertical sets on each side here as well as this type of an arrangement where, again, because of the fact that these are have beams throughout the whole length of the uh, curtain. There is no gaps, so it's a nice way of uh, setting this up for cascading. This is our older Type 4 curtain. It's just the Easy Screen 14 slash 30 that we've had for about 20 years now. And for here, we have the finger and hand protection models. Um, it's something that is going to have dip switches on it, so you have to set it for latch or reset. Um, but we do have reduced resolution, which is something that the, uh, the LS does not have. But it does have floating blanking, which again is all through dip switch settings, and you can carry that out. Now when we get into our compacts, the compacts, for example, are something that's got a smaller enclosure. The LP, it's still type 4, so you can use it for up to category 4. But the LP itself is something that is a very lighter duty type of a light curtain for some smaller applications where we don't need the range. But we do have a, a variety of these all the way up to a four foot long uh, LP curtain. So meant for some small spaces. Again, it's end to end sensing, but we do have a lot of dip switches and things underneath this little cover that you'd see right around in that area. And uh, it does have a model as well called the LPM that is good for integral muting where the mute sensors actually tie right into the receiver itself, as well as models for ESD safety. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of a combination of different types of LPs that we have. What else is in the compact? This one here is a nice little set that is meant for very, very light duty type of applications. The SLC4 again comes with finger and hand protection, but the uh, the, the model choices are such that you only have uh, up to one foot long curtains. It's not meant for some larger applications. It's just meant to protect a very small space. This would be some examples of those type of things. If this is our longest one that's a foot long or smaller, it's just providing protection for that very small area that you're trying to put your hand into. 
All right, what's perimeter guarding? Perimeter guarding is where we have an area and we're protecting people that are walking into an area. So these are typically called grids. Here is the SGS grids, and this is meant again for body protection where you are walking into an area and it's not something where you can reach the hazard by sticking your hand through there. This is gonna be something that's gonna make sure that it's far enough back to catch somebody walking in, and it's for those really long ranges, for example. There's a model in here where the range of between the emitter receivers is as much as 60 meters. So you're probably going to be using mirrors on certain corners if you're trying to protect three or four sides. But it does also have uh, models with the built-in muting, so you can actually protect an area where there's a package coming through and actually administer the muting with the uh, connection right to the grid itself. These are some applications, and here's where that muting application is on the left-hand side where it actually has attached mute arms that have the photo eyes on there so it can give you the muting as the transition of the box goes through the light curtain or it might be something you see here on the right-hand side where uh, we have the emitter receiver, but in between there are these mirrors that are angled at a 45 degree setting so that it can bounce the beams all the way uh, covering three sides. Lastly is the type two curtains. Type two curtains are something that are economical, but one thing that has to be made aware of is the fact that they are uh, referred to as type two, meaning that with the design internally of all the full of the uh, the uh, the design internally of the controllers, there's only one controller internally. It's just that that controller has got two outputs, so it really is a single channel device, which means you cannot get any higher than a safety category two with that type of light curtain in use.